gets that together. It took a bit of quite a bit of pushing and squeezing and pushing and squeezing to get that box in nicely. And these bits are supposed to point out the bottom, I think they're like locating the base on it when it gets on there. It looks pretty cool so far, isn't it? Look at that. Make sure that your gears are right way up. Put that to the side for a minute. You need more wax. And you need to do is get out. Um, 30 and 31 gears. They're in the middle. They're one you just put to pull the middle a bit, bit, bit out of. One out there, you need 28 and 29 out of number two. That's in this lot here. Push that out of the middle a bit easier. They do is get 28, uh, 29 and 28 and they go together like the last few little bits and pieces have. And fit it nicely. Ooh, squeeze them. Don't put too much pressure on them otherwise you end up breaking them. There might be spares of these but I'm not sure to be honest. And when they go together they should go together flat. So. They're not going to get off for that moment. It would be a pain there. So you left with this weird cross bit. And you get them gears and you wax them up. They're really weird looking gears, these ones, but this one. More of a, I don't know what you would call that. That's kind of a gear. Anyway, wax both gears up. Whenever gears or shafts, always wax them up. That sounds dirty, but. So they put a weird looking gear on the top part of the cross. Like so. And then the smaller gear on the other side part. Push it through the other side. Should fit together in theory, is what it says. I'm about to get it in there. That's it. I think that's in there now. Yeah, there it goes. So make sure it's flat against each other. I put it away right said. And then you get 32 and 33. 32 is just one of these little bits from here. Three from that number two. This one. And another 34. Another gear from this. So, again, wax them up. Didn't wax up that one very well, that one. That weird shaped one. Then this is either way, oh. but there's a weird line on it there. If you put that through the big gear, it might help, maybe.
Don't be afraid to use a table to push it down the flat. Be afraid to break it there. Put it in straight, then push it down. Then put the circle on top of it. That fits flash. Turn the page. And you turn the get a bit so it's got the the uh, decorative part, and you get the the one with the circle on it, and that goes in that big hole with a circle against the wood. So make sure it turns freely and you get the other one and take so the weird looking gear part is against the wood. Take the other way around first actually. <laughs> the weird looking gear in first then put the other one on top. So they mesh top two gears like that and they mesh with this one as well see you notice that was in gear with that one see that's in that one that's in that one that's on that one that's done so far you get two number 35s which is on this one again these are flexible ones so again be careful don't want to break it Show you what I mean, flexible in a sec. These make it nice and curved and looks look nice as well. So we get the two of these out of here. I don't, think, I don't know, they might give you spares, but I don't know how it works with these. Okay. See these yeah, flexible to go around corners, like that, which is quite nice. And you get where you did the gears on just a second ago. And there are arrows pointing upwards. And we have these pointing obviously upwards. And have it so the circular part is to the the other way of this. in the front there and then you carefully just lightly bend it around the corner like that and it fits nicely and that gives it a nice curve in wood which is quite cool and they fit in the top there no problems you do exactly the same with the other side make sure there's round bits on the far side far away from the uh, gears you just put in and you just carefully bend it don't force it and push it in neatly like that. It's a quite cool looking front of the gate uh, case. This will turn eventually. Yeah, should do. Yeah, that will turn. Yeah, that's quite nice like that. Then you get a few bits. You get number 38. Is this big decorative part here? Again, they're all numbered, so you don't have to worry about getting it too wrong. <laughs> the two gears on this one, which is 36 and 37. You need uh, two 10As, which was, was not the first piece of wood you got out. I thought they were just spare 10As, but they're not the 10As. Two of those. And two 39s. To find where these 39s are. Dun, dun, dun. 39s are on one of the gears, one of the bits we've done earlier. Number two. Who's 39s in? Ah, they're on this bit already. I cut it up to push it out. That's why you never throw anything away. You know, this is clearly used. You know, this is clearly used. I never throw it away. 
keep this aside. Then what you do is you get the box where you were earlier. Gear up the uh, wax up the gears again. As always. So you have it so that this large hole is where that large gear is. But obviously don't push it on there yet. You put the large gear that's a difficult. The large gear will go to the bottom. See there's a hole there, there's a hole here. So if you put the gear in place along on the hole, like so. And a small gear at the top hole, line it up like so. Then you put this bit on top, the wire around, obviously. And you get two thirty nines, and they go through them gears you just put in. And the there like that, and the other one goes in that gear as well. Fiddle a bit, wiggle it about a bit, and then it looks like that. So two gears are held in with these two thirty nines, and then you get the number 10 A's and you push that hold the uh, bit you the decorative part you just put in, in place there and so it's quite neat like that it's very neat like that actually very decorative and very nice very nice looking, eh? Whether it works or nothing. <laughs> yeah, it all turns. It's a bit stiff at the moment, but when you first get it working, it will be stiff, so. A bit of working on it, it will be better. That one's done. Put to the side, get out of the way. You get a number six box. Uh, six uh, piece of wood. This one, okay. the last piece, with a big hole, a big one on top there. You need these two number 40s. Again, they're flexible like last ones, so be careful pushing them out. Anyone enjoying this build so far? If you're watching this not, uh, like this, if you're watching it fast, obviously you don't know if you what I'm saying, but <laughs> but hopefully, if you, if you get bored watching this, just go to the sped up one, I'll put a link up here somewhere. A sped up version. Probably long gets bored a bit, but yeah, we'll see. Now these are identical. Yes, they're identical. But there's three things on here, four on here, on both of them. So. So the U gears sign is towards you, so if you're like this, towards you. Then you have the left one with the three towards you as well. And again, you just put it on like the last ones. It's pretty obvious where they go, so. They're quite easy to fit in. And then Carefully guard it round the corner and put it in place nicely. That's just getting it in place, that wood, so don't worry about that making it creaky noise. And that sets off this really nicely. All the gear is working in there, which look really cool. Again, you do exactly the same with the other side. 
make sure you use the right width part. Three on one side, four on the other. It look very weird if you use the wrong side, so should be shouldn't be able to get that wrong. He says in theory. <laughs> and look at that. That's looking really, really nice. I'm so glad I went for this. It's really nice working. Look at that. You've got the big well, big ish. So I'll fit my hand inside the interior. This will be covered up as well with another one of those flexi bits, so don't worry about that too much. That looks really nice and quite heavy, quite well, quite well built. He says, building himself. All right, so now you need another 41. I'm guessing it's on one of these. Yeah, number 41. Another decorative plate. And take the middle bits out. I don't need any more. That's just to make it hold with gears. So you have to really noisy pipe out there. <laughs> then you need four number tens, these little things. Again, push them out like hand with your hand or fingernail or a screwdriver, whatever's easier. And then you put it so the U gears is in front of you and then it's to the right hand side. Don't think it matters at this point because I think but I'll go by what it says. So then you put it up. Uh, this goes either way so don't worry about like long as it lines up the holes in the bottom part. And you just push number 10 through them holes. This is just to make the box look even more decorative than it is. Yeah. Just take your time, don't rush. You'll break something if you do, so. Again, that's nice. Really sets it off. <laughs> then you get another 42 from that last part. Again, got a middle part to take that out again. You left with a lot of wood at the end of this. So, well, <laughs> number 42 goes on the front of the new gear sign. I know it's backwards to you, but this is not backwards, by the way. Everything's backwards when I film it, so... When I look at the screen, it's sort of confusing. I have to go left to go right, and right to go left. Again, you pull it so that the... Either way, don't matter. Again, uh, four number tens. Got those. And again, you just push them into the holes as always. Again, that sets it off really nice. So your gears is nice and right way round. <laughs> it is honestly, honestly, it is right way round. So don't complain about that. That's right round to me. Uh, I double check that myself. <laughs> don't trust myself sometimes. Again, getting that, getting that for forty-one. From that, from that weird part, and again, push the middle out. This one's a little bit odd because it's got these slits in the middle. 
and that goes on the side that hasn't got any, any details on it so you've obviously got details all three sides so far and this one obviously again as always you just put it again either way don't matter like that and then put four number tens in I'm just hoping after building this it actually works because I'll be really 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 annoyed but I like say the R2 on my channel which I built obviously before this video goes up partially anyway you can take the R2 apart easily. Well, I say easy, but easier than this would be anyway. But this would be seriously difficult if I have to take any of it apart. Especially for the gears, it'll be an utter pain in the backside. Be a lot of swearing. A lot, a lot of swearing, <laughs> and of course, a lot of swearing. And more so. <laughs> but, fingers crossed that don't actually happen. He says, "Touch wood." I wonder what will get more views. Here's a question: What will get more views? Do you reckon? This one, the normal speed or the sped up version? What do you reckon? People are more masochistic, whether they want to watch a long hour or so video to build me building this or the quick one, I don't know how long that will last, but we'll see. So that looks really nice. Really, really nice. Sets itself nicely. The treasure box does got to look really nice, see all the gears workings in it. When you turn it and all that, these will be moving and it will be really, really nice. 